Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty. Thank you so much for stopping by for this really quick and really beautiful farmhouse DIY. We're going to be making a wall hanging today. Um, you know, guys know I love making signs and wreaths and anything farmhouse. And so we have this really quick and really beautiful project we're going to get into today. So let me tell you what you're going to need. For this DIY, you'll need some scissors. You'll need some greenery. I picked this up at Joanne Fabrics. I think it's called Bloom, and it was Apple Blossom or something like that. I like it because it reminds me of Lamb's Ear. You're going to need some jute twine. You are going to need one of these little Dollar Tree shadow boxes. You're going to need some floral foam. This is just going to be repurposed because, of course, I took apart what was in here and used these pieces for something else. Um, and this is what's left. You are going to possibly need a hammer. You might be able to push the thumbtacks in with your thumb. Um, yeah, I broke this thumb, so it hurts me from time to time. I think arthritis is setting up in it, so I am not really sure how much pushing I'm going to be doing. Speaking of thumbtacks and pushing, you're going to need some thumbtacks. And then in here, I've got a couple of beads. I've got two bigger beads. I painted black and two really small beads. And then a tassel that I have left over from another project. That was made with jute twine, so we're going to be using that tassel. And then last but not least, you're going to need one of these Dollar Tree placemats. They come in this black and kind of a gray color. They come in the buffalo check, light gray, dark gray, um, or two-tone gray with red trim. They also come in this brown. So one of these will do. But before we get into this DIY, first I would just like to thank everybody for popping in today and crafting with me or just watching. If you like this content, and I truly hope you do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I would love to have you a part have you as a part of the D's Cute and Crafty family. Just got my mouth yesterday, you guys. Um, <laughs> I'd love to have you as part of the family. And let's get into this video. Those of you coming back, thank you and welcome back. All right, so I'm going to start out by opening this up. Out. I'm going to save that for later. You know, we can do something gorgeous with it. I'm not too worried about this. If you are, you can paint this inside. Um, one thing about these frames, this stuff, I'm not really sure what it is, what they put on it, some kind of paper, shiny something, is not easy to paint. I tried painting it black. And the paint, even when it was dry and you try to go over it and give it a second coat, would just smear off, rub off, scrape off. It not paintable. At least I couldn't figure out what to use to paint it. And I was using chalk paint. So we're not painting this. Not even going to fight with it. Going to turn it in a diamond shape just to give it a little bit more flair, a little bit more style. If you guys want to figure out how to paint that, please let me know what you did because it did not work for me. So we're going to take this mat and we're going to cut it in half. It's already been folded because that's how I had it put away. Once again, I'm crafting from my stash. I tend to do that often. Need to use up the things I have so I can get some new things. So we're going to cut this in half. Put a piece to the side, and then we're just going to lay this end to end, just like that. We're going to take our thumbtacks and tack it down. They push in pretty easy. Now, you guys, we're going to be moving these tacks all around, but right now I need to tack it down so that I can... Oh, it's not even. It doesn't have to be, I guess. 
even, but it's going to drive me nuts. So <laughs> let's move it over. Pull it a little bit taut. There. You can use a flathead screwdriver to get under here if you need to under these thumbtacks because like I said we are going to be repositioning these from time to time so you're going to tack down your two corners and then you are going to fold this over the side pull it taut and you're going to cut off what you don't need and I'm just using the box as my measurement I'm using it as a guide to get a nice straight cut. I'm going to do the same thing. Save these pieces. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Fold it over. Move it up so you guys can see me. Take your fabric. Fold it over. Your fabric. Your placemat. Fold it over. And then you're just going to cut down. Let your scissors lay against the box. And follow that line of the box and save your extra fabric okay then all you're going to do is take your end fold it down like wrapping a present that's all you need to do fold that down And there we go. And then you're just going to secure this with thumbtacks. And you can hammer this in if you need to. That's why I have the hammer. But you're just going to put thumbtacks all down the side. I like to put one at the beginning, one at the end, and then fill in the middle. I used about 10 of these. And then you just push them down and then fill this in. You try to get them on here as straight as you can. Mine aren't all that straight, but it's far more. Farm. What is wrong with my mouth today? It's farmhouse, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm telling you, I just got this, this mouth yesterday. Brand new. Wrap it like wrapping a present. Just going to fold that in and fold that down. And you're going to tack it all the way down on this side, just like you did the other side. I start it by pushing it in, and then I go ahead and nail it in the rest of the way. For this end piece that's sitting out, you're just going to tuck it under and tack it down. Very, very easy. And again, you can use the hammer if you need to. Now we're going to remove the little sawtooth or the claw hanger that's on the back.
because we want to hang this up, but we don't want to hang it this way. Although I guess if you wanted to, you could, but we designed it to hang this way. So we need to move this over. So let me grab my little spatula, my paint spatula, and let's pop this out. Try not to tear it up. And then we're just going to make sure we're hanging it the right way. So we're just going to place it in the top corner right here with a ton of glue. So while that is setting up, we're going to go ahead and take some beads and make a little swag to go across the front. Make sure that's set up in there good. So we're going to take a piece of jute, this little tassel that you can make with the jute just by wrapping it around your fingers a couple times. I'm sure you guys know how to make a tassel or have seen that done before. So that's why I didn't worry about having um, a tassel already made. Just putting some glue on here, letting it cool a little bit because we're going to use this to thread our beads. You could absolutely, if you're not comfortable doing that, it. I've done it so much it doesn't bother me, but you could put tape on the end and then you don't have to do that. You don't have to worry about burning your fingers. So just options, you guys. And I want my tassel to hang between the two tiny beads in the middle, like that. So all I'm going to do is add some glue on either side of the tassel and smash it against the beads. Give us some leeway. Before I do that, you want to measure how long. Give yourself a little extra because we're going to tie some knots on the end. And the knots are just, um, it's not to keep the bead on, it's to go underneath the tack. Gotta give the tack something to hold on to. So I want this to hang in the middle. Okay. So I'm just eyeballing it. Gonna do a double knot. on both ends. This one can be cut a little bit more. It's a little too long.
this is why I haven't glued it yet. I want to make sure I have it where I want it before I glue it. Okay. So now I'm just going to lift this up. And push it back down. Just like that. I'm going to do the same on this side. It's going to lift it up. Push it back down. Now, I'm going to glue this in the middle. And all I did was glue the two closest beads to the tassel. The black beads are not glued. This is what we have. And then we're almost done, you guys. All we're going to do is add in our floral foam and some greenery. And it is ready to go. You could paint the back of this paper, like I said, if you'd like. After I put the greenery in, it's really not going to matter. So that's why I didn't waste the paint. And you guys, that is it. Now let's see how it looks when it's all put together. So you guys, this is it. This is the final reveal. I love how it came out and I hope you do too. So quick and easy and simple with just some things I had around the house. Absolutely gorgeous. If you like this content, and I truly hope you do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of the D's Cute and Crafty family where I make farmhouse decor, I do thrift flips and Dollar Tree hauls, and just generally have a lot of fun over here. So until I see you again in my next video, please be safe and be blessed and craft something beautiful today. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.